Hiya, it's Adrian. So what can you actually drink when you're intermittent fasting? Well, that's a really good question. The whole purpose of the fast is to keep your body in ketosis, which later on, if you fast for long enough, will lead to autophagy. So you want to avoid drinking anything that would pop you out of ketosis. So that would be anything really that contains sugar or gives you too much adrenaline. So water would be absolutely fine. That could be still water. It could be carbonated water. And actually, I do like carbonated water. Whatever the water, make sure that it's clean. Um, tap water may or may not be appropriate wherever you happen to be in the world. If you can filter it, that would certainly help. If you want to flavor the water with something, then fresh lemons are absolutely perfect. A slice or a squeeze of lemon in the water would be really good. Another great thing you could put in the water to flavor it would be apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is amazing stuff, and I'm gonna do a video on that. It contains potassium, it can help with fatty liver, and it also helps reduce the insulin resistance of your cells, which is really, really beneficial to you. I do a lot of exercise in the morning. One of the things I found was that towards the back end of the fast, normally around sort of hour 17 or 18, some days I was starting to feel a bit lethargic and I was getting a headache. So I worked out I was probably low on either salt or and electrolytes. So I have some salt in a glass of water after I've done my workout and that certainly has taken care of that problem. If you're going to drink water, I would avoid the artificially flavored waters that we can see in the shops these days because a lot of those contain sugars. And if you're thinking about coconut water because of the electrolyte content, that's great. But unfortunately, it tends to contain some sugar, so that could pop you out of your ketosis. If you want to drink coffee, that's fine. Just don't drink too much like we talked about before. You want to avoid anything that would give you an adrenaline spike and too much coffee could do that. And if you want to put a little bit of milk or cream in the coffee, that's great. An alternative to that is a teaspoon of butter, which I have to say when I first heard that sounded kind of weird, but it actually makes sense when I think about it. Although I haven't tried it because I don't drink coffee anymore. You could also drink tea. Again, watch out with the, the amount of tea you drink just for the caffeine on that. Almond milk would be fine, provided it's unsweetened. Another great thing you can drink if your diet considerations or your diet choices allow would be bone broth, and that would be great for electrolytes. You're gonna have to avoid alcohol during your fast because it will pop you out of ketosis. And also, I'd be very careful with the, the soda drinks, the carbonated drinks, particularly the diet ones. Uh, I would avoid anything that has aspartame in it anyway. It's awful stuff and it's a poison and you shouldn't be taking it in it and it is in a lot of drinks. I've read that it might be all right to have drinks with xylitol in it so you can have a look at that and, and to make your choice based on that. So that's it. Give me the thumbs up if you like the video, please. If you haven't already subscribed, do click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be kept updated as we release new content. And in the comments section, if there's anything else that I haven't mentioned that you are drinking that you know doesn't put you out of ketosis, please pop it in there. I'd be really interested to hear from you. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, please pop that in the comments section as well. And I'll add that to my list of things to do. And I will see you in the next video. See ya. Thank you.